So if you are somehow not aware yet, Tennessee's college football program bit the dust this year. We had a big problem called, we suck. I address these issues in a different video, so if you want to know what those are, you should go check out the other video I made before proceeding with this one. Alright, anyway, on with the video. So after the historically abysmal season we had in Knoxville this year, like it was actually historically bad. The committee at Tennessee finally made some changes and hired defensive coordinator at Alabama, Jeremy Pruitt. Now as tragic as the season may have been, we, we honestly can't get any worse. But now, it's time to explain some ways that Tennessee can get better next year. So sit back and get your Peyton Manning jerseys and let me explain some ways Tennessee can get better for 2018. Now I know what you all are thinking right now. Squid Tard, we already fired Butch Jones. That may be true, but what if I told you? It's not entirely Butch's fault. Yes, he did play a role in our failures, but what about the offensive and defensive coordination? I'm not exactly sure who thought it was a good idea to have a cover two defense against Florida on the last play of the game, but whoever did, good job. Anyway, with that aside, we have a great new head coach now, and this job really does matter. First of all, I would like to see some changes to the style of play Tennessee has been doing because it's obviously not working really well. Second, be a little more uh, determined to play. What do you mean by that is, don't play like it's the Pee Wee Pro Bowl at your local elementary school. I want to see Pruitt rolling with the iron fist and training his players like it's their life goal to go out and beat the shit out of Vanderbilt. And for the love of God, make sure the players are healthy. I can understand when a few players get injured, but it's a lot different when every quarter of every game our entire roster is out of the game. Now, let's talk about some of the players. I am not talking about those players that play and look bad only because they just want to get the season over with, which I can understand. But I'm talking about the ones if you were to ask them about football, they would just say, what is a football? I am just here for my paycheck. I see things like that in every game. They play, but they are not playing football. I am also talking about the ones who make dumb decisions that make them and the team look bad. Players like these either need to be moved out of the game or moved out of the roster completely. And if you're not here to play football, then just go find another hobby, please. Now this reason can't just be said for the players, but for the entire team. As the season began, I saw the team fight and work hard to win their games. I watched the Georgia Tech game in the second half and they were playing with Tennessee Spirit. But after that Florida game, Tennessee Spirit only stayed with the person who had to clean up Neyland Stadium after every game. I knew after the game that they were ready to give up, and they did, almost losing to UMass and then proceeding to get blown out by Georgia, Alabama, Missouri, LSU, and even Vanderbilt. If that spirit stuck with them to the end, they would have at least two conference wins. So I think, yeah, I get it now. The Vols didn't try for three-fourths of their season. So Pruitt, I want you to put the attitude back at Tennessee and get that spirit back. I want to see the Vols fighting every single game for four quarters. And in the end of the game, and if you do lose, use that motivation to keep fighting on even against opponents like Alabama who have talent everywhere in the stadium. Give them a game that would challenge them, and that is how you win a game. Tennessee has a bad fan base, but then again, every team has a bad fan base. Tennessee is just beyond terrible. Many say that Tennessee is the Cleveland Browns of college football, that can't be true, because the Browns at least have a supportive fan base, and they have been through more than we have. We have had this problem for years now, but the Browns have had to stick with it for decades. I was going to make a video addressing the Uncle Lou about how he's been always talking trash about Tennessee, but I realized it was just a counterattack for all the things Tennessee said about him and Georgia before he did. 
There are decent Vol fans out there who are smart and a little less delusional. BVD is pretty cool. He is just fed up with all the Tennessee trash. I watched Volunteer Roadshow once. I don't know much, but he is probably cool, I guess. Anyway, some of these Vol fans are just anticipating a national title in 2018 and don't expect anything less. And this is the reason why they booted Fulton back in 2008. He lost! Fire him! For some reason, the committee listened and fired him without thinking, and thus it created a decade of heartbreak and bullshit. I am as fed up with it as many other fans may be, but we have had to be patient, and wins don't come easy in the SEC. For those of you fans that are done with the garbage and ready for change, change is coming. Just endure one more season of trash talking from other fan bases. Even if we do good next year, win the East, or even get into the playoffs, we will always have to endure people trash talking. But it does make it harder if you're a fan of a team to just finish their worst season in over a century. Well, tune in next time when we talk about football fan bases and how annoying they can be. Also, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, and if you haven't already, subscribe to Squid Tar. Also, can we get rid of that trash can? I feel like it summed up our season way too much.